Hi guys, it's Chris here with the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 Pro with that Snapdragon 650, 3GB of RAM. So I've been using it for a little while now, just enough to just run some initial benchmarks and show you those results so you don't have to wait for my final review. Um, overall, using the device, it feels very quick, very snappy. Everything seems to pop up really quick. I haven't experienced any lag yet. I'll just show you the Antutu 6.04 scores. I thought they were exceptionally well for the price range of this device. This is a low-end budget price range, but you're getting premium high-end performance. I mean, look at that score. That's almost 80,000. Now, I'm not really a super benchmark person, but I, when I compare that to my Note 5 that gets about 83,000 in my test that I did, according to this, the Note gets about 84,000. I mean, my Note 5 is about 60% more expensive than this unit here, so I think that's pretty phenomenal, the kind of power we're getting out of the Snapdragon 650. So I can see why Xiaomi decided just to dump MediaTek with the, the Helios X10. I mean, that wasn't a bad chip. It's not a bad octa-core, but they've gone now for the hexa-core. So if I compare that to my Note 5, you'll see that it actually wins when it comes to some of the CPU mathematics and the RAM score. Uh, where it loses out is the GPU. So the Andrino 510 isn't as powerful as the GPU that's in my Galaxy Note 5. Uh, that's a Mali GPU 720, I think it is. Um, but, you know, that is not bad for the price range. If I compare that to some other, for example, the Mate 8. Let's have a look here. You can see that, yeah, the Mate 8 is definitely a hell of a lot faster in everything. But then, the interesting enough, the GPU scores there. But benchmarks can vary, of course. And there's a couple of details there if you wanted to have a look at those. I'm not sure that's going to come out on the camera because it's in a darker grey colour there, but they're the finer details for those people that love to check out benchmarks and just compare that to your current phone. And I did actually run a couple of other benchmarks that I'll show you. Geekbench, uh, 3D Mark. So I'll show you those. This is uh, the Ice Storm 1.2 score, unlimited. Not a bad score at all. Uh, slingshot. And Geekbench 3, quite a good score there. And the multi-core score is probably not as high because it's only got six cores and not the eight like other phones have. But overall, I mean, the performance within the UI at the moment with the MIUI 7, it seems very quick. Now, if you wanted to check this out within your browser, to go through some of the final details there. Here's the end of the URL that you need to type in. So it's a 514-6860 there on the end. And you can go through the finer details and have a look at those scores there. So it's just a quick video for those people that were pretty much screaming out for benchmarks that I know are going to be screaming out. Say, how fast is the 650? Well, pretty damn quick. And the main thing too is that everything within the phone seems very fluid, very fast. Now I have a lot more up and coming. I will have a 1080p video test, some camera tests on it that I will upload, and also my full review, which will probably be out within a week or so. So do check back on the channel for that. Thanks for watching this video, and see you soon.